Number 101. The following question is taken from a chemistry advanced placement examination and is used with the permission of the educational testing service. Solve the following problem. And then we have MgF2 solid, which gives us Mg2 plus plus 2F minus aqueous. In a saturated solution of MgF2 at 18 degrees Celsius, the concentration of Mg2 plus is 1.21 times 10 to the negative third molarity. The equilibrium is represented by the preceding equation. And then we have letter A. So write the expression for the solubility product constant, Ksp, and calculate its value at 18 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay, so it seems like this is actually coming from a AP uh, question. That's awesome. So let's see. We've done tons of problems in this chapter already. We're up to number 101. So let's see if we can do this. All we need to do for this one is to write the expression for the solubility product Ksp. And remember, any K value always comes from the balanced equation. So if I just rewrite this a little bit bigger, we have Mg F2, and that's a solid. This comes to equilibrium between Mg2 plus, plus, and this is aqueous, plus 2F minus, and that's also aqueous. Okay. So, actually, whoops. Okay, here we go. So, just like any K value, technically it should be products divided by reactants, but since my reactant is a solid, remember solids don't get included into the KSP value. So in this case, my KSP is equal to the two products. And let's see, it's gonna be Mg two plus, times F minus, and since this is raised to the second, or this is two F minus, it's already balanced for us, I do need to put a two up top of the F minus. Okay, so one part done. How easy was that, guys, right? So this is the KSP expression, and now we just have to calculate the value. So let's see. It said that the concentration of Mg2 plus is 1.21 times 10 to the negative third molarity. So I know that this number is 1.21 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now they did say that we were in a saturated solution, which means that I can use my ratios. There's nothing else that's affecting this uh, concentration value and this solubility. So I do have to look at those those um, coefficients, right? There was one Mg for every two F minus. So how are we gonna find out the F minus concentration? Well, it's a one to two ratio. So whatever this one's got, this one has twice as much. So I would just have to take this number and times it by two. 1.2, 1.21 times 10 to the negative third times two is 2.42 times 10 to the negative third molarity. And these are your two values that you're gonna use to plug in into your equation. So let's go for it. KSP equals, we have the Mg 1.21 times 10 to the negative third times 2.42 times 10 to the negative third and that one also has to be squared. Now we could plug this all into the calculator at once. So let's go for it. Let's see if your answer matches mine. So I'm gonna do 2.42 times 10 to the negative third, that's squared. And then I'm gonna times it by 1.21 times 10 to the negative third. And I guess three sig figs. So I get 7.09. The KSP value is 7.09 times 10 to the negative ninth. No, um, no units on a KSP, so it's just a number. And there you go. So we got the expression and we got the actual KSP value. That's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I think there's a couple more parts, so hang tight. Um, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. In the meantime, if you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button. Thank you very much for that. And I will talk to you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.